a true tale of brotherhood. The Templars, forced to leave their lands and abscound with the Holy Grail, team up with the Maltese, not the Falcon, but the Maltese Knight, to come to new worlds, to bury the Grail and keep its secrets safe for mankind. Uh, I think uh, we should leave these lands. We shall leave this lands and continent and go to what is told as to be the new world. The new world that lies in the west. That we might find a place fitting for this most precious vegetable. Because you must remember we have no longer allegiance only to the Templar and the Maltese. But we are now papal watchdogs. We shall find a resting place for the Grail. Have you made arrangements for us to leave? I followed your instructions implicitly, Grand Master. Excellent, Lapouf. Excellent. I have chartered a ship. We will be leaving tomorrow evening. And there, find passage to the New World. Oh, goody, goody. Can I drive? Sure. Unbeknownst, Masters Valletta and De Puff, they had mistaken a beer stein for the Holy Grail. They sailed west following the ancient route of Odysseus to find a secure hiding place for the stein. Across uncharted waters they journeyed until they made landfall. Once ashore, they met a strange man who warned them. I'm a tall dog down, down there to the pond, and all of a sudden I seen, uh, I seen these women. These women were running around bathing, some kind of bathing. And uh, next thing I knowed, this big thing come a tearing out from the bushes. I seen these uh, these air, these air fellers that come up here with uh, like a like a uh, some kind of army suits on. Army suits that looked like they had guns and weapons and things. And they start to firing at this thing. And I figured well, this thing's going to get pretty upset. My dog we jump we went jump run up on him over the hill. Got in my truck. We let him at the hoof. Had heard enough. Finding a small boat, they decided that they could not entrust their sacred mission to the likes of the strange man and his dog. They determined that they needed to try a new plan in order to secure a final resting place for the cup. Hey, Lapoo! Yes, sir. Cut that French stuff out. Oh, I got this. Uh, my name is Elmer Dyer. That sounds more like the people we've been running into. Okay, I'll be good. I reckon, uh, I reckon that'd be do about to do it. You got to blend in with these people. This is a, we're, we're in with savages. They come from, from who knows where. Maybe probably Florida. Florida's probably a good, Florida. a good road Florida. ground for these We got to sound like them. We got to be able to think like them. So don't Florida. mention the po papers. Uh, they don't like papers, well, there, buddy. Shine like and, and, uh, and dancing and dating their sister. Dating their sister. Oh, now, that, that, now that's kind of old world -ish, isn't it? I don't know. Not the way these people do it. Oh, God. They do all that. They're inbreeding and get all them, their congenital diseases. Well, we and just... they ain't royalty? <laughs> ain't royalty. I don't might. I know there's a lot of them who got some big ears on them. You know, that might have something to do with it. But uh, it's fine somebody that knows this land because we don't know where we're at we don't know nothing about this place i mean if we was in the if we were still back as valletta was explaining his plan the ever vigilant de poof noticed an incoming projectile. It was a new menace, demonic squirrels. Miraculously, the monks found a new ally who said he knew what to do and he was familiar with the ways of these squirrel demons. I want to tell you that I am going to rule you as best I can, which will be better than you had over the past 90 years or so. I know that all my loyal subjects here are willing and waiting to... What are you, what are you doing over there? God damn it, that's getting out of the lane, you simple bill. Where the hell are you at, Where the hell are you at, you?
Confused and disoriented by the events of the past few days, the Grand Masters convene a council of war to determine their next move, mistaking a pewter tankard for the grail. Did vex them sorely, as they had no experience with this kind of thing. The strange men... Devil worshipping Satan is a witch! We cast you out! Women and creatures they encountered thus far had shaken their faith in the sacredness of their mission. Bernard and Jeffrey had no explanation for the native who called themselves King Charles. However, the demonic squirrels were something altogether different. They recognized that these events were not a test of their faith, but represented a threat to their immortal souls. They decided to chuck the tankard into the swamp, re-embark, and make for the safety of Jerusalem. You got to watch the skies, buddy. They're coming. They're coming in. These some of these things, when if you look out a regular window, like a like a like a 12 by 36 window, you wouldn't even know what you was looking at because if they turn off the lights, they black out everything. <laughs>